in a western block, the blocking and tagging portion will begin after the target protein has been transferred from the SDS page into a PBDF membrane. After the protein has been transferred into the membrane, it will be incubated in a protein containing solution such as non fat dry milk or purified protein like bovine serum albumin. These proteins will cover any remaining area of the membrane which did not contain the target protein. Blocking the rest of the membrane will prevent any false signals and nonspecific binding that could appear when imaging. Any excess blocking solution will be washed away. Following the wash, the membrane is incubated in primary antibodies. These primary antibodies are specific to the protein targeted and will bind to a his tag encoded in the protein. After the incubation period is over, any excess primary antibody will be washed off. Washing away the excess will prevent nonspecific binding signals. Following the wash, the membrane is incubated with secondary antibodies that are specific to the primary antibody. The secondary antibody will be tagged with a reporter enzyme like horseradish peroxide or commonly referred to as HRP. After the incubation period is over, excess secondary antibodies are washed away. Chemiluminescent substrates are used for imaging. The substrate will interact with the enzyme and as a result, light will be emitted. And here, an example of Western blot imaging.